we are the Church of the Domission of the Virgin Mary in Tuchkova, where Holy Martyrs Boris Nazarov, uh, Nils Smirnov, and Martyr Alexei Losev served. Holy Martyr Boris Nazarov was born in 1884 in the city of Moscow. His father, Nikolai Igorovich Nazarov, served as a notary. In 1902, Boris Nikolaevich graduated from the Third Moscow Gymnasium and entered Moscow University, where he studied for two years in the mathematics department and in 1907 passed the exam in theological subject at Moscow Theological Seminary. In 1908, Boris Nikolaevich was ordained as a priest to the Church of the Icon of Our Lady on the sign in the village of Ilinska in Kalaminsky country of Moscow province. In 1910, Father Boris began to serve at the Transfiguration Church in the village of Krukova, and in 1924, the priest was transferred to the Assumption Church in the village of Katino of Ruza district. Over the years of service at this church, Father Boris was awarded with the Pectoral Cross in 1928, and in 1931, he was ordained an archpriest. The last place of service of Archpriest Boris Nazar was the Church of St. Nicholas, the Miracle Maker, in the village of Kratasiva of the Ray district of Moscow region, where he was appointed to serve in 1931. On the 25th of January in 1938, authorities arrested Father Boris and imprisoned him in Mozhaisk, and then he was transferred to Taganskaya prison in Moscow. On the 26th of January, he was questioned. Father Boris categorically rejected all the charges. During the interrogation, the false witness testified that Archpriest Boris Nazarov was opposed to the Soviet authority, which was often expressed during conversations. In particular, as if he was saying about the situation in the country. A difficult time is coming. We must act in some way as they are fighting with religion, so we must first pay attention to the church. Soviet power is a dark power that must be fought and collective arms are the seal of the Antichrist. They will not lead to the improvement of life. Look, what a mess around! They take and take our brother. Of course, it will not end well. Peasants will be outgraded, since they are also being arrested so much, regardless of anything, neither with their family nor with the age of the arrested. The Constitution gives freedom, but in reality there is some kind of heady grudging of the authorities. They want to show the people one thing, but in reality there is another. You see, after Kulaks and us, they will take over the collective farmers in order to create some incomprehensible terror with their actions. On the 2nd of February in 1938, being accused in counter-revolutionary slanderous propaganda of a rebel character, according to the Article 58, Clause 10 of the Criminal Court of Russia, the NKVD Troik sentenced Father Boris to death penalty. Archpriest Boris Nazarov was shot on the 17th of February in 1938 at the Butova firing range ground near Moscow and was buried in the common unknown grave. In 2002, Archpriest Boris Nazar was canonized by the Holy Synod as the new martyr of Russia for general church veneration.